Gene Roddenberry, the man who created the phenomenally successful Star Trek franchise, got it right the first time. We will have a Star Trek future. But not at first. This is because the first order of business will belong to Mother Earth, the giver of all life. As the volcanic ash and dust settle from our atmosphere and rains wash the land clean, Mother Nature will begin rebuilding the food chain at its most basic level. And from there, life will be restored upwards throughout the entire food chain. Our continents will offer us new farmlands and they will yield a bounty of nourishing new crops. And we'll put them to very good use. In the years beyond Planet X in 2012, we'll rebuild, but slowly at first. Those who survive will want to study the mistakes of the past for the sake of future generations. Of course, there will be the obvious errors. For millennia, humankind has always believed that money was the root of all evil. We know that monetary systems are based on artificial financial schemes that serve the greed of a few by enslaving the many. After Planet X, humanity will say never again. Yet we will rebuild. Not with a monetary system, but rather with a resource-based system that will help us do exactly what Gene Roddenberry envisioned when he first created Star Trek. It was this vision that first energized the entire Star Trek franchise for decades. To simply explain it away as science fiction is illogical. Because the seed of reality is born of fiction. In the words of futurist Jacques Fresco, the founder of the Venus Project, when human beings are free of debt, insecurity, and fear of their neighbors, they become much more amiable. Jacques Fresco was a man who grew up in the misery of the Great Depression and would then devote his entire life to the hope of an egalitarian future where resource-based economies would end human suffering once and for all by bringing out the best of humanity through service to others. Those steadfast souls who survived the coming tribulations of Planet X will realize the greatest hopes of those who have inspired us with their vision of the future such as Gene Roddenberry and Jacques Fresco, and we're going to need that vision and hope if we are to survive as a species, for the days of Mother Earth are numbered. Knowing that, we will begin colonizing our own solar system in preparation for the most important step in our survival as a species. Using what we have learned, we will leave this solar system to colonize new Earths all throughout the galaxy. In some distant time, our descendants will bid farewell to the birthplace of our species. Like all things, it too must come to an end. When it does, our descendants will mourn its passing as they celebrate our courage. In the difficult years ahead, each of us has to be in it for the species, because 2012 is about evolution. For more information about Planet X in 2012, you can visit Your Own World USA, that's Y-O-W-U-S-A dot com. For Planet X Forecast and 2012 Survival Guide, this is co-author and publisher Marshall Masters thanking you for taking this first step in becoming self-informed about this vital topic.